Welcome to Tectonic Knights channel. This is day 6 of solving lead code problems using pandas. In this video, we will be solving data integration related problems. First problem is actors and directors who cooperated at least 3 times. We have a data frame with actor id and director id columns. Our task is to find all pairs of actor and director where they have worked together 3 or more times. First, we group the data frame by both actor ID and director ID. For each group, we count how many rows belong to that group using dot size method. This gives us number of times each actor director pair has collaborated. Next, we filter out the pairs that have fewer than three collaborations. We can do this using dot lock method with a lambda function. Here, x refers to the series of counts. The lambda function filters out any pairs with fewer than three collaborations. Finally, we can extract just the actor ID and director ID columns. Next problem is replace employee ID with unique identifier. We are provided with two data frames, employees and employee unique. Our task is to display unique identifier for each user. If a user does not have a unique identifier, we should return null for that user. To achieve this, we need to merge the employees data frame with the employee unique data frame on the ID column. A left join is required in this case as it will return all records from the employee's data frame and any matching unique identifier from the employee unique data frame. For users without unique ID, null will be displayed. Next problem is students and examinations. We are provided with three data frames, students, subjects and examinations. The goal is to return a result data frame that includes all students and all subjects and a new column named attended exams that shows how many times each student attended each subject's exam. If a student did not attend an exam for a subject, the value in the attended exams column should be zero. First, we generate all possible combinations of students and subjects to ensure that each student is represented for every subject, even if they did not attend an exam. This can be done by creating a Cartesian product of students and subjects data frames. Next, we count the number of exams each student attended for each subject. This can be done by grouping the examinations data frame by both student ID and subject name. And then using size to count the number of exams for each group. We will store this result in a new data frame called exam counts. Now we merge this all combinations data frame with the exam counts data frame using a left join. We fill NAN values with 0 and finally we sort the result by student ID and subject name. Next problem is managers with at least 5 direct reports. We are given a data frame called employee. The task is to identify managers who have at least 5 direct reports. We start by grouping the data frame by manager ID and then use size method to get the row count for each manager ID that is number of reports. And then we filter the counts greater than or equal to 5 using lambda function. We store this result in manager id data frame. Next we check which rows in the original employee data frame have a manager id that is present in the manager id data frame. This is achieved using asin function. Finally we return the name column. Next problem is salesperson. We have three data frames, salesperson, company and orders. Our task is to identify all salespeople who haven't processed any orders for a company named Red. First, we need to find the ID of the company named Red. We can do this by searching the company data frame. We'll use the iLock method to retrieve the company ID. Once we have the Red company ID, we will filter the orders data frame to find orders associated with that company ID. From these orders, we can extract the corresponding sales IDs. Finally, we'll use these sales IDs to filter the salesperson data frame. We will use the dot lock method here and a negation operator to select salespeople whose IDs do not match those found in the orders. We will then extract the name column from this filtered data frame to get our final list of salespeople. If no company named red exists, we'll encounter this error. This is an index 
out of bounds error. To handle this, we will use a try except block. Inside the try block, we will locate the red company and extract its ID. If an error occurs in the except block, we will simply return all salespeople names as no one could have had orders related to a red company. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe and drop your thoughts or questions in the comments. See you next time.